I did wrong. There's no doubt. I mean, there, there's no question that I, you know, off the field stuff, not inside the building, that was all exonerated on. If you read the Porter report, I was exonerated on all that. And you, I know you've read that. Off the field, yeah, I would have done things differently and I apologize, but I only really apologize to two people, and that's to my Lord and Savior and to my family. And so, with that being said, um, I moved forward. And I've been told by everybody, quit apologizing. Quit apologizing. But with this last situation, is the biggest bogus lies that have ever been it's ever been constricted in, in the history of mankind. I mean, it, it, it's what it is, is that, well, I'll read this little quick deal, and you can all take me and ask that, you know, and I'll, I'll skip a little bit of it. Uh, uh, I believe that certain individuals, this is after I basically say that I appreciate my family and appreciate many words of support and encouragement I've received over the last few weeks, which has been unbelievable. I mean, I'd swear I believe it's been a thousand texts, phone calls, and emails. But I believe certain individuals conducted an investigation into my, into me that's shrouded in secrecy. They developed a conclusion of the investigation before they determined the facts. The entire process was extremely unfair to me. In fact, I was never interviewed. I didn't learn of these allegations despite requests until I read them in the paper. That's mind-boggling in this state because there's no tenure over there. No tenure in our school system. I want to assure everyone that much of the information presenting is totally false and rest in misleading half-truths meant to damage my reputation and support predetermined actions. As a coach, I've always expected fair play, but I don't believe in this situation I don't believe it has happened in this incident. I've been blessed to be very successful in, in these past 38 years coaching career. In the 11 years I've been here, we've built a great program, helped hundreds of students get college scholarships, and many young men be successful in lives in their communities. I'm very proud of our success at Caldwell County. There's a lot of speculation and rumors because of the way Mr. Howe, Doug Howe, pursued this investigation and how he distributed the conclusions. It's very sad to see this create division in our community, which it did. Please don't join too quickly in the argument arguments with friends and family. I look forward to addressing many false and misleading statements made about me in the near future, if applicable. In the meantime, meantime, I'm here to, to go forward. But at the end of the day, um, <coughs> the AD was a guy that I fired. Uh, Buck can tell you. He worked on our staff. I fired him for insubordination. Uh, and 13, four years later, he became my AD. <clears throat> the superintendent was an assistant principal when I got there. Then he was moved to the middle school principal. And he and I never jihawed because I wanted certain things done in the middle school. And I went over his head to do with the guy that hired me, the superintendent of the Board of Education. The people I answered to, the people that signed my checks, and he was sort of basically said, "You got to do this, got to do that." I think he held that against me. Uh, I think, with that being said, uh, they wanted me out because of they wanted to be controlling, and I didn't want to be controlled. Not the way that I wanted it to do it. Because I don't agree with people. When I don't agree with you, I'm gonna state my facts. Because we've been successful. And I'm going to give you a great example. This is what led to the whole thing. We, our football team had stayed in a hotel every Thursday night prior to a ball game. Because of what I just told you earlier. He cut that out. Because he thought that was not necessary. Now, we, you're talking about four out of five state championship appearances. The most successful program in Georgia. And he was completely tearing down everything that he could. What am I going to do? Not react? I'm going to react. And I reacted. And, um, you know, and so, and, and to be honest with you, I'd been there too long and uh, should have left. 